Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to provision Oracle Autonomous Database in uh, OCI. I provide the link in the description. Please check out the link. So we will directly go to the OCI console. Click on the hamburger menu on the left top corner. Go to Oracle Database and click on this ATP or the Autonomous Transaction Processing. Uh, once you are here in the Autonomous uh, Database, click on this Create Autonomous Database. Select the compartment in which you want to provision this. I am uh, selecting this as a uh, child 001 compartment. Display name I am giving as a uh, uh, learning ATP database. Database name as well I am giving the same thing learning ATP. Uh, on the workload type I am selecting ATP. The step will be same for data warehouse as well. Okay. So I'm going for the st shared in infrastructure. If you want a dedicated infrastructure, then you can uh, have this option enabled. Your, in that case, your uh, ATP database will be dedicated exadata infrastructure. As I'm using always free account, I'm, I'm uh, interested in knowing only the always free uh, configuration for the database. I'm selecting this default 19C uh, OCPU count. Uh, I'm not having an option to uh, modify as I'm using the always free if you are not in the always free uh, category then you can modify the ocpu count scaling as well and you can uh, maximize as per your uh, uh, need the storage so by the default uh, there is a credentials created with the username as admin uh, let me create a password for this so i have provided the password choose network access uh, i'm keeping this as default I'm making this uh, accessible anywhere if you want to secure this uh, uh, then you can restrict the access uh, using private endpoint access or secured access from allowed IPs and the VCNs. Uh, currently, I'm not looking into this. I'm just trying to learn how to set up this ATP for knowledge or learning purpose. So, if you have your own license, then you can uh, use that. Uh, I'm using the always free account and uh, uh, going with the default. If you want, you can uh, provide an email address over here. I'm giving for email address. That is bnum.apps at uh, gmail.com. If you expand this advanced options, uh, there are a few advanced options available. Encrypt using Oracle Manage Keys. If you are having uh, your own keys uh, with which uh, you want to encrypt the data, then you can provide it over here. I'm keeping this as default. Let Oracle manage the keys for my encryption. Coming to maintenance, as I'm using the always free uh, database, I'm unable to uh, modify this patch level. Uh, it, it's selecting as a regular. If you are not using an always free account, then uh, you will be having a option to change this patch level uh, based on which your database will be patched if there is an update uh, you can uh, uh, tag this particular resource uh, to a specific namespace and uh, monitor it uh, be it for a budgeting uh, once uh, all the details has been filled up click on this create autonomous database button as you can see the status is provisioning uh, once done it will reflect as available uh, we'll wait for a couple of minutes. I have refreshed the page and the status is now showing as available. Uh, once the status shows as available, we have to go to this DB connection. We have to download, click on this download valid button over here. Few of the clients require password uh, in order to communicate with the ATP database. Uh, uh, for that, we, we want this password. If you use the SQL Developer, it doesn't require the password. But for downloading the valid, uh, I'm providing the password over here. Once done, click on this download. I'm here in the SQL developer. So click on this plus button that is to add a new connection. Provide the name that is learning ATP. Username is admin. Password I'm providing. So in the connection type, you have to select this cloud wallet and uh, Browse and select this file which you had, which has been downloaded into your uh, local machine. I have selected the file. In the service details, we have to select the appropriate service uh, configuration uh, with the high, low, medium, TP, TP urgent. All these things will have a different processing time and latency. So I am going for the uh, TP high. Let me test this. As you can see, we are able to uh, connect to the ATP database. So I am saving this. I am clicking on this connect. It's asking for a password again. I'm providing that. The SQL worksheet has opened for us. Let me check if it is working. I'm printing the sys date from Diol. I'll click on this run button. Yeah. 
like this uh, we can configure atp database in our uh, oracle cloud infrastructure if you want to have a look at the service console page we can uh, just click on the service console button it will uh, open the service console page okay so here at the high level we will uh, get all the details like how much uh, uh, storage is available storage used uh, and all Even you can launch the Oracle Apex from here. All those things we'll learn uh, in our coming videos. Thank you for joining us in this video.